Hello everyone. Welcome to Global Online University. From today we are going to discuss some important concept regarding CSR NET, GATE and SET examination. Our target is to qualify June 2021. Our today's topic is aromaticity. In this topic we are going to discuss concept of aromaticity, Huckel's rule, Craig's rule, condition for aromatic, non-aromatic and anti-aromatic compound. Also we are going to discuss some previous year questions. If you talk about characteristics of aromatic compound, first characteristics is that it has high degree of stability. It should have high degree of stability. It show electrophilic substitution reaction rather than electrophilic addition reaction. It should follow Huckel's rule. Now what is Huckel's rule? Huckel's rule is that a cyclic planar conjugated space is having 4n plus 2 pi electrons where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. is in aromatic in nature. In short, to f a compound to follow Huckel's rule, compound must have cyclic structure, it should be planar, it should be conjugated species and as well as it should follow 4n plus 2 pi electron rule. There should be a diamagnetic ring current. Each carbon must be sp2 hybridized or sp hybridized. It has high stability due to field bonding molecular orbital. For example, look at this example. Example first contains 6 pi electrons that means it is an aromatic in nature. Example second contains 2 pi electrons. Therefore, it is classified as aromatic in nature. Third and fourth are also aromatic compound. If we talk about stability of aromatic compound, the stability of aromatic compound is directly proportional to their resonance energy as well as their aromaticity. But at the same time, it is inversely proportional to their potential energy. Here are some examples of compound are given which which having resonance energy. Now we have to classify according to their resonance energy and we have to determine their stability order. According to resonance energy, benzene having more resonance energy after than pyridine followed by thiophene, pyrrol and furon. If you talk about Huckel's rule, this is very popular and useful rule to identify aromatic compound in monocyclic conjugated compound according to which planar monocyclic system, planar monocyclic conjugated system having 4n plus 2 pi electron which should be a delocalized pi electron are known as aromatic compound. Examples of aromatic compounds are benzene, naphthalene, furon and pyrrol. If you put n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4, we got 2 pi electrons, 6, 10, 14 and 18 pi electrons respectively. Now another rule is Craig's rule. The Craig rule is applicable for polycyclic non-benzonide systems. Polycyclic non-benzonide systems means a compound must be contain pollen rings. It means it contains number of rings which should be greater than 1. And it does not contain benzene ring like structure. It is called as polycyclic non-benzonide compound. Now what is Craig rule? In a Craig rule we have to pass a C2 axis. We have to pass a C2 axis in a such a way that molecule should be broken down into two equal parts. After that, we have to calculate the value of n. Value of n means number of double bonds. After that, we have to calculate n minus 1. 
if we got value of n minus 1 is odd then our compound is non aromatic if n minus 1 is even then compound is aromatic now let's apply this crack rule to above example now look at this azulin we have passed an c2 axis we have passed an c2 axis in a such a way that molecule is broken down into two equal parts now we have to calculate the value of n value of n means we have to calculate the number of double bonds total number of double bonds are 5 now for for determination whether the compound is aromatic or non aromatic we have to calculate the value of n minus 1 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 means our value becomes even therefore n value of n minus 1 is even then compound is aromatic therefore azulin is classified as aromatic compound let's see another example now look at this pentalin pentalin in this our first step is that we have to pass an c2 axis in such a way that molecule should be divided into two equal parts now calculate the value of n value of n is equal to 4 now we have to calculate the value of n minus 1 4 minus 1 is 3 3 is an odd figure therefore it is classified as non aromatic compound next example is heftalin as we have done in previous example we have to pass on c2 axis in such a way that compound is divided into two equal parts now calculate the value of n value of n means total number of double bonds total number of double bonds are 6 n minus 1 means 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 5 is an odd figure hence it is classified into non aromatic compound there are some conditions for aromatic non aromatic and anti aromatic compound for aromatic compound molecule our compound should follow huckel's rule it should be a monocyclic system a polycyclic benzonide system and it should follow a craggs rule for anti aromatic compound it should be contain 4n pi, 4n pi electron and it should be a delocalized system it should be a planar it should contain sp and sp2 hybridized carbon atoms then we can classify that compound as anti aromatic compound for non aromatic compound there should be a re restriction of delocalization of pi electrons now look at this example this example contains six pi electrons plus one sp3 hybridized carbon atoms but our condition is that for compound to be an aromatic carbon atom must be sp2 or sp hybridized this contains sp3 hybridized carbon atom therefore it is not an aromatic compound and it is an non aromatic compound therefore this is classified as non aromatic compound now look at this example cyclo octatetraene its shape is tube shape there is a restriction of delocalization of electrons therefore it is classified as non aromatic compound order of stability and order of resonance energy of aromatic non aromatic and anti aromatic compound is that aromatic compound have more stability and more resonance energy as compared to non aromatic and anti aromatic compound if if you have given some compound and you have to calculate pi electrons then there are some rules to calculate number of pi electrons if your compound contains a double bond then we have to consider it as a two electron if your compound contains a triple bond then calculate it as a two pi electrons if your compound contains a one lone pair of electron then calculate it is as a two electrons now consider this this example contains four pi, four pi electrons plus nitrogen having a lone pair of electrons that is four plus two is equal to six pi electrons now consider this furon 
Furon have four pi four pi electrons plus one lone pair of electron means oxygen having a lone pair of electrons that is total number of pi electrons are six. In case of thiophene, there are four pi electrons and one lone pair of electrons. Hence, total number of pi electrons are six pi electrons, and hence all are classified into aromatic compound. Another example is that a lone pair which participate in conjugation and follows Huckel's rule are called Huckel lone pair. while lone pair does not participate in conjugation are known as non huckel lone pair now let's discuss quasi aromatic compound quasi aromatic compound are generally aromatic in nature if a compound is attacked by nucleophile or by acid it is it becomes ionic in nature and this types of compound we called as an quasi aromatic compounds as we all knows that carbon exist into three allotropic form diamond graphite and fullerene diamond contain sp3 hybridized carbon atom so it is non aromatic because compound for a compound to be aromatic the main condition is that it should contain sp2 or sp hybridized carbon atom and our diamond containing sp3 hybridized carbon atom therefore it is an non aromatic compound if you talk about graphite and fullerene both are aromatic in nature now homo aromatic compound and annulation effect let's discuss what is aromatic compound compound that contain one or more sp3 hybridized carbon atom in a conjugate cycle but sp3 hybridized carbon atom are free to force to lie almost vertically above the plane of aromatic system is known as homo aromatic compound for example look at this cyclooctatetraene it react with acid and it form homo triphylium cation this this sp3 hybridized cation this sp3 hybridized atom lie above the plane of aromatic system hence it is called as homo triphylium cation now our stability order become aromatic homo aromatic non aromatic and anti aromatic now let's discuss what is annulation effect annulation effect means if your compound contains more than one benzene ring or more than one aromatic ring each ring transfer its aromaticity to the neighboring ring this is known as annulation effect in short if the number of ring goes on increases its aromaticity goes on decreases now look at this example it has one aromatic ring it has two and it has three aromatic rings means each ring sharing its aromaticity to the neighboring one and its aromaticity goes on decreases it's it has less aromaticity than this than first one now let us discuss some previous year question based on this concept question first arrange the following compound in order of their aromaticity just we have discussed what is aromaticity or what is annulation effect just we have discussed as number of ring goes on increases its aromaticity decreases according to our annulation effect now look at this options option a contains one benzene ring option b contains two benzene ring and option c contains three benzene rings that means first one is benzene naphthalene and anthracene according to annulation effect as number of ring goes on increases it shares its aromaticity to the neighboring one and its aromaticity goes on decreases therefore option a has more aromaticity than b than c question second we have to match column first with column second now look at first option it contains one double bond and two cation means 
it contains two pi electrons means it is an aromatic simultaneously it is an it follow 4n plus 2 pi electrons now look at option b it contains one double bond and two anions means it it contains six pi electrons we have know that one anions means two pi electrons two anions and one double bonds means total six pi electrons therefore it is an aromatic compound now look for third option it contains one double bond one anion and one sp3 hybridized carbon atom that means it is an non aromatic compound there is no restriction there is a restriction for delocalization of an electron therefore it is an therefore it is an non aromatic compound now if we talk about d it contains one double bond one anion and one cation means total number of pi electrons are four therefore it is an anti aromatic compound now look at this option first is a type of aromatic compound as well as it is also type of heterocyclic compound option b is also an aromatic as well as heterocyclic compound option c is is also type of aromatic as well as is also aromatic as well as heterocyclic compound option d is non aromatic because there is a no restriction there is a no plane non planar system option e matches with anti aromatic compound because it contains 4 pi electrons now look at this example this is a previous year question asked for nate june 2011 look at first second and third structure first structure contains 6 pi electrons one cation and one sp3 hybridized carbon atoms that is first one is homo aromatic second contains four pi electrons that is it is an anti aromatic compound and c contains a double bond means two pi electrons it is an aromatic compound therefore option a is correct among a to c aromatic compounds are this question has been asked for nate june 2011 now look at at a b and c what we say what we can say that these hydrogen these hydrogen are anti periplanar to each other therefore there is a restriction of a double bond so it is not an aromatic compound option b and c are aromatic therefore option c are correct the compound that is anti aromatic in nature now we have to calculate now we have to find that which compound is anti aromatic among them we know that uh, if compound contains 4 pi electron then it is an anti aromatic compound now look at at first option it contains 4 pi electrons therefore it is an anti aromatic compound second third and fourth contains 6 6 pi electrons and 2 pi electrons therefore it is an non aromatic compounds therefore option a is correct now look at this example this example is based on Craig's rule how can we classify that this example based on Craig's rule and this example based on Huckel's rule by observing that Craig's rule is applicable for polycyclic non-benzonide system this is non-benzonide system because this compound does not contain structure similar to benzene ring we know that According to Craig's rule, we have to pass an C2 axis. After that, we have to calculate the number of N. N means what? Number of double bonds. Number of double bonds are 5. Now, we have to calculate value of N minus 1. That is 5 minus 1. That is 4. Now, this value is an even number. 
even number means this compound is aromatic and it has high dipole moment therefore option a is correct let's go for next question among the following compound lone pair that is non aromatic is by observing the options we come to know that cyclo octatetra in having tube like structure therefore it is non aromatic and there is a non aromatic means what restriction for delocalization of pi electrons in cyclo octatetra in it is is an it is in a tube shape therefore therefore there is a restriction for double bond therefore option a is correct thank you so much thank you so much for watching for net set and gate syllabus study material and test series please follow online global university please like share and subscribe thank you so much